So the next step after you've uh, got your domain name and uh, MX records all set up is to configure your Exchange server to actually accept mail that is sent to that domain. And we do that through the Exchange Management Console in this Organization Configuration area under Hub Transport. And the feature that we want to configure is known as it's called Accepted Domains. So as the name suggests, uh, Accepted Domains is the list of domain names that your Exchange server will accept mail for. And it goes a little deeper than that. It also uh, defines how it treats those domains, whether they are considered local domains or um, perhaps just relayed domains. So let's have a look at that in a little bit more detail now. Now the, the uh, accepted domain that will be there by default will be the fully qualified domain name of your Active Directory forest. So in my case that's exchangebootcamp.local but of course that's not a uh, useful domain name for email in and out of the organization between uh, recipients on this server and the internet. So what we actually want to do is add in the new accepted domain of exchangebootcamp.com and that can be done over here uh, from the Actions pane or just right click and select New Accepted Domain. You can give the, the domain uh, a name of really anything you like. Um, just for simplicity, I like to keep the name the same as the actual domain name itself. So I'll put exchangebootcamp.com in twice. And there are three options here for configuring how Exchange will handle that email. An authoritative domain, um, that is a domain name for which all of the email recipients are contained within this exchange organization. An internal relay domain uh, is used when you're using a shared SMTP, uh, SMTP namespace. So that's the case where you have uh, recipients on that domain name in one organization and also in a completely separate organization or a separate mail system. And an external relay domain is domain names that you want to accept mail for but do not have any local recipients. So the mail will then be routed off somewhere else. Okay, so in this case, Exchange Bootcamp is going to be configured as an authoritative domain. Now, because I don't want uh, exchangebootcamp.local to be the default domain, the last thing I'll do is just right click on exchangebootcamp.com set as default and now that's been configured. 